expires on tonight at midnight. Is that correct? Expired. I just gave no, you a copy. No, that, no, that it expired. It's already expired. Last night. So it expired last night. It's expired now. When did you notify the trustee board that mm -hmm. this was mm -hmm. about to happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, in December. Way back in December when I when yeah. you didn't know when you were well, you know, asking you're saying that it came in December of twenty thirteen. I mentioned the obvious choice in December. Why was it allowed to just lapse without mm -hmm. any, no, no, any, it didn't just well, lapse. No, no, I'm not finishing my question. Why was it allowed to slip uh, oh, and, on, and get into a predicament? You should have given it to me. Why was that? Give him respect. Give him respect. That insurance allowed to lapse. And it was just a lapse. And it was just a lapse. And it was just a lapse. And what were you doing to uh, seek uh, different carriers? And that sort of thing, so that uh, we would have continuous coverage from the date the prior policy would go out of uh, coverage and the new policy could pick up at that point. What was I doing? First of all, <laughs> what were you doing to make to keep us insured? First of all, when I walked in the door, you weren't the library was underinsured. So what I did was go down to Pinkley Perry and request a review of all the policies so that we could get insured. So this, these policies have been sent out to five different agencies so far that have denied us coverage. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't just started. Our agent has been sending out requests for quotes. Uh, and if you read her letter, she says, this is to confirm our conversation today that we have yet to receive a proposal from a carrier for East Cleveland Library. To date, we have only received declinations. Well, I read that. I read that email. The date on this. I read that. You've got to be quiet. I read that email. Now, the, the, the question is, I, I'm aware that uh, Ms. Butler responded to you saying that she had proposed to one carrier uh, a raise in deductible amount, and that she was hopeful that that uh, carrier would then offer us insurance. Did that happen to them? Nope. What is our recourse as far as you know? Well, the five people have declined at this point. Five other carriers have declined. This is the last one. They had declined us. She went back to them and asked if they could do a higher deductible, and we're hoping that that's going to come through. But I understood to, uh, to her email that, that we would know today that did not happen. It didn't happen. They haven't called us yet because they're making the decision do they want to carry us or not. And right at this point, I'll be nice, I want to say it. They're not trying to, they're not trying to carry us. And that's your opinion that the letter That's not my opinion. That's what she told me. They're not trying to carry us because they're reading the newspaper. Ooh. 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 And that's Now, what you asked about time limits, here from uh, Lindale, Lindale put the policy, we're going to put it through. We switched from Lindale, and this is way back in December, even November. We switched from Lindale and went over to Pete and Perry, tried to pull all our resources back in under Harford Insurance Company. Mm -hmm. When some things went awry in 2010 and 11, 12, when I wasn't here, some things went crazy. They spread the library out to like four or five different insurance companies. Mm -hmm. and so my goal, <coughs> my goal of the finance department was to get it all back in under one umbrella. And that's what people are hearing. They've been our agents for 15 or 20 years. Well, I'm aware of that. Okay. Well, so also you're aware that this insurance went out I to a lot of I uh, discussed that with you before the uh, transfer was made. Mm -hmm. you know, I had to sign uh, documents to affect the transfer. 
April 2013. Been, we've been looking and working on this for trying to stay in shape. Thank you, Mr. Holloway. You've asked my question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Mrs. Holloway, you, you are the planning commissioner. Yes. Right. Yes. And the medical office. Whom do you refer to? The same thing. Whom do you refer to? The board. Do you refer to anyone else? No. Uh, Mrs. Yes. Hollowell, have you had an opportunity to give the financial report and give this board prior to my coming on this board? Have you had an opportunity to give them a report of the finances of this library? Only the real two times that I've been recognized by the board president was March, I believe. I don't remember the other month. I have given out what has happened, but two times I've been able to give a financial report. So that crippled you and also crippled the board that perhaps was wanting to know what the final status of this library was. Is that correct? I hesitate because they... No, you don't have to hesitate. Just state yes or no. Because no. you are the financial officer of this, of this library. No, correct? it didn't cripple you. No. Well, when it, it hampered you from doing your job or getting them to report yes. in reference to what the financial status was of this library. Is yes. that correct? Yes. So, it is so um, I heard you say in your report that if you did not get a purchase order, you would not write a check for that particular item that someone is going to purchase. Is that correct? Correct. Do you receive the receipts once they have purchased this, whatever items they are applicable? Do you receive the receipts? Yes, because they want to be reimbursed, yes. Okay. Um, Mrs. Holloway, are, are you cognizant or do you know about this $8,200,000? How did that come about? $82,000. 80, oh, 82000 okay, 82000 No, I do not. I was not here. And um, that's still hanging today? Yes, that adjustment has to be made. Adjustments for those years still yet have to be made. That's what's holding up uh, the books. It's not holding me up from, it did, but entering stuff into UAN. But people have to understand when you don't know where that money's coming from, you just don't enter stuff into a computer. And that's where my stand still is. Not to my, be, to my hurt, but. Have you been asked to write checks or without Approval or whatever the case may be. No. I mean, that, well, hold on. Let me, People let, come let to me, me and ask. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. How does you dispense checks? You How does through you? the board? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now this is very important. Through the board or just through anybody walking in saying, uh, I purchased this or oh, I got a uh, we need a requisition for this or that or the other. A requisition is placed for events and programs, different things. There are times when there are purchases, which has been brought before the board. Ms. Ramsour so wanted to get a lot more. I didn't think it was time. It was February, and I didn't see paying $700 for a lawnmower. She did purchase it, and then I had to reimburse her. The president came to me and asked me to reimburse her, but we already had cut the check. I was going to reimburse her. She just doesn't get the check. The one who requested was seven hundred. The one who purchased was three ninety nine. I did not pay the tax. Let me speak to you. Just answer my question. All right, John. Does the 